Hi everyone, welcome back to Shanti Finance. Have you ever worried about what to put in the background and then you want to put something green and want to paint foliage in the background but not really sure how much detail to put in and what kind to be? This tutorial will teach you exactly how to paint different kind of foliages for the background. This video is a collaboration with YouTube channel Painting with Yovet. Yovet Bronson is a wonderful art instructor and she is a friend of mine through YouTube and she does a lot of oil and acrylic painting. Her speciality is landscape and florals mostly working a wet on wet style. Together we decided to take a um, uh, to make, get, take our takes on the video for painting leaves and foliage in our own styles and learn from each other and share our learning with you on YouTube. So after you finish this video, do check out her channel and video, both of which are linked in the description box below. Now let's get started with the tutorial. I'm starting by adding a dark background to the area where I want to put my foliage and I'm choosing the colors brown, blue, green and very dark greens and kind of trying to make it uh, pretty dark as much as possible and adding in a little bit of yellow here and there kind of trying to have a dark background but also varying it from one end to the other. Once that background is laid and it is dry, then I will first show you a, a kind of a, a grassy looking longer blade leaf uh, foliage. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a very dark green, like a viridian green uh, mixed with uh, quite a bit of blue and some amount of black as well. And that is uh, I'm using medium pressure with my round brush. And I think this is a number two round brush. You can feel free to use a thinner brush, which will give you thinner uh, blades of leaves. You will see that all through the video, I have more or less used the same strokes and same principles, just varied it a little uh, in size and shape and used different kinds of brush brushes, made, made the uh, initial leaf longer or shorter. And that is how I created different kinds of foliage. So the same principle more or less will work um, if you vary the brush pressure and the length of the brush strokes a little bit and create a wide variety of foliage or leaves and grass. Once I laid down the initial layer uh, of uh, green or the blades of grass, let's call it grass for um, the sake of ease, um, once the dark layer is laid, I'm coming back with a mid-tone layer and for mid-tone, in the same green, I'm adding a little bit of yellow and some amount of white and creating highlights on the already drawn blades of grass. And you'll see that it is not making a whole lot of effect because I, what I want is a dark background and then a little bit of uh, mid-tones and most of the actual impact will come on when I actually start putting the real light highlights and for this highlight I am using the same green but this time I'm mixing it with a lot of white and again a tiny bit of yellow. The yellow kind of keeps it a little bit more green looking, more leaf like looking otherwise it will look like a bright white leaves which is not very natural realistic looking just wanting to make it a little bit more taller and so adding a little bit more of the dark greens then coming back with the mid-tone color first and then laying on the bright very light highlights now in the next one you will see that i'm using a flat brush instead of a round brush as soon as i use the edge of a flat brush you will see that my blades of grass are becoming much thinner so like i said in the beginning of the painting i am going to use the same brush strokes and the same principles all through the video and you will see just that just by using different kinds of brushes different amounts of brush pressure and different length of the blades of leaves and grass i'm going to create a whole lot of different kinds of foliage you can already see that just by differing the brush 
uh, I am um, this this is still looking like grass less like I created in the previous one but this is a much thinner blade and looking quite a bit different now I'm adding the mid tone layer by adding a little bit of yellow and yellow yellow and white to the green mix and then finally coming back with the bright highlights where I'm using a lot more white than I've been using uh, in the past in the dark greens you can see as soon as you vary the brush pressure and the brush and uh, the amount and the size of the blades of leaves it uh, results in different kinds of leaves now you see that I'm using a sweeping motion what I'm doing is I'm using a round brush and I'm first touching it with the point of the brush and then I'm laying down the brush a little bit and then I'm again pulling out the brush so what it yields is the ends of the leaves are becoming thin while the middle part is becoming thin, thick and that is how I am getting the effect of short thick leaves now had it been like a detail leaves in the front probably I'd go for much more detailed brush strokes a lot more techniques and all that but like I said these are foliages just to put in the background and a distance where you want some details to make it look realistic you want it to stand out but you do not want it to capture all the attention because background is not supposed to take the attention it is just uh, supposed to render a beautiful backdrop for your subject so I am still using the same principle by uh, adding the dark green first and then coming back with lighter layers and uh, for lighter layers I all I'm always using a little bit of yellow and a lot of white the more white you use the lighter it gets but do not use too much white then it would look like white leaves and that is not very realistic not very natural looking so be a little careful of how much white you are adding to your green you see that I'm still using very tiny brush strokes pointy end starting with the point of the round brush then pressing it onto the surface and then lifting it up with the point and that's how I get the leaf looking small leaf looking structures where both ends are pointed and the middle is a little thicker fatter so that look is how it, I'm getting it and uh, finishing it off with a little bit of highlights adding some more leaves here and there to complete the look of the whole uh, background at this point it kind of reminds me uh, like all the hedges and shrubs and bushes that grow around uh, the fencing if you do not tend your garden very well and uh, well uh, I'm pretty much liking it now the next one what I'm doing is I'm using minimum brush pressure what I'm doing is I'm adding just tiny tiny blobs of paint with my run round brush and it is almost like the leaves that I created just a little bit ago it's just that I'm using even less brush pressure and creating more rounded very tiny leaves here following the same principles once again very dark green first then a little lighter green and then a lot of white making it a lot brighter and a lot lighter for the bright highlights continuing to add more leaves to the background to complete the entire foliage and that is almost all uh, that I wanted to show and demonstrate in this video do let me know that if you found it useful or not and if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as well because I am posting new videos every Wednesday and Friday. And of late, I've been posting additional videos over the weekend as well. So stay tuned. There will be a lot more of, of all different kinds of uh, backgrounds, foregrounds, landscapes, portraits, and everything else. Now the final kind of uh, blades of leaves this I am creating very fat yet very long leaves and what I'm doing is I'm using the round brush and just like I did on the fat small tiny leaves I'm starting off with the pointy end and ending ending off with the pointy end and putting a laying the round brush a little bit flat in the middle the only difference is that in this case I am using very long brush strokes and that is kind of creating the effect of very long leaves 
like you would see in a palm kind of a leaf if you look at each strand of the palm leaf so that's the final one and that is how we conclude the foliage tutorial do not forget to check out your vet's video as well once you are done with this and thank you for watching